So my title is I'm the VP of Powertrain, the Vice President of Powertrain for Mercedes-Benz here in the US. In that role, I oversee a lot of teams that look into current technology that we still have out on the market to maintain, constantly drive it forward. There's ongoing regulatory changes, for example. Uh, we have to adapt the technology to, to these requirements that are coming. At the same time, we're also at the forefront of technology, looking what's coming next in the field of electrification and battery technology. There's a lot of good technology developed in the US. The automotive is like really interesting because it constantly changes. Um, it's the, the, let's call it the former technology, the combustion engines, they continuously evolved over many, many years. And at the moment, specifically in the field of powertrains, we're stepping into the electrification world. And there's continuous involvement of technology, new ideas, ways to integrate it better, still drive the systems forward, make it more efficient, make it more powerful finding ways to make this cost efficient. So it's a constant change and that's, that's all just cool. So I'm originally from Germany. I moved to the US in 20 years ago. Um, I, Germany, Southern Germany, Mercedes-Benz was in front of the door. That's a company you want to aspire to work for. Um, as a sm when I was a small kid, I went with my dad to pick up Mercedes at the plant. We did the plant tour and like seeing how these cars are built, I knew automotive is where I want to be. That was just fascinating and yeah, it's, it's great to see how this all comes together in a car in the end. Math and physics, that's always been my passion and as an engineer, this is the, the bread and butter of your business. Um, I'm not, you haven't used really math and, and, and physics in a long time in my current role, but it really helped get familiar with the engineering concepts and a lot of problems that we face on a day-to-day -day basis. Don't limit yourself to math and physics. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of uh, learning continuously and don't expect, I think, when you come off school that you know everything. What you learn in school that they only a small fraction of what en enables you to be successful going forward. So staying curious, being open to working with other people, understanding that you're not alone in the problem solving, that you have teams that you work with, uh, getting the concepts of collaboration, bringing the different ideas together. electrification it's still fairly new and if you look at it you know, maybe 10 maximum 15 years into it cars have been around for over 125 years so we've seen a crazy involvement over the last 125 years and I think we still see a lot of involvement with the new technology in the coming years. Mm -hmm.